Hi, Stormy24. Thanks for the follow. Like, I've already... Like, I already played, like, for the whole story of this game, but I thought hmm, that I would, like, replay it by streaming it. I need to eventually, like, get it on PC as well. That way, like, can try out all the mods that people are making. <laughs> also, is the audio of, like, my voice and the game, like, matching? Like, like is the game too loud or too quiet? Oh, okay, that's good. Just thought I'd ask because, like, I haven't actually streamed anything from PS4. Just only streamed from my PC, Xbox, and Switch. I'm just borrowing my brother's PS4 Pro for this. <laughs> Has anyone else, like, played Stray? Oh, okay, yeah. It's definitely recommend it, because <laughs> it is nice. And fun. It has a lot of like different things that I like didn't expect when when playing it in it. <laughs> That's like without like, spoiling it or anything. But it does have like a lot of different aspects that have been put into it. And a few genres of things. Yeah, there's a meow button. <laughs> Pretty much use it a lot. <laughs> uh, I just kept pressing it before when I first played it. <laughs> oh. It's interesting how it's like you can't just like jump freely. They've like made it so you have to jump to like say, and then you like can't fall if you try to move. So at least that's like a, a interesting thing of not being able to just jump and then fall down anywhere. Like I can scratch everything. 
Yeah. I didn't realize when I first played that they were all like meowing back. Zoom in. Oh. I wish I wish this had a photo mode though. There's no photo mode. So I wish that was like a thing. They could possibly like add it in a future update, maybe. If like enough people asked for it. It's like the like environments and everything in this game look quite amazing. I'm sure like PC version there's probably already like a mod for that to have like a photo mode already in it. Cause there is actually a lot of people that do gaming photography. That make their own like tools and use tools for games be able to pause them and stop motion things and take photos of stuff. Which is pretty cool. That's just like another way. Also, sprint. Everyone like being up to today though. And you. It's it's like really cold here where I am. No.
Luckily they just like heal like super quick. <laughs> Pretty much like bump into everything. Dead mm. city. Yeah, like how I said, the environments in this look like really amazing and well put together. Yeah. Swish. I like how if you meow at the cameras, they nod to you. It's like dead, dead robots. No. Oh, yeah, <laughs> with the, this one? Is that what you mean? Yeah, I was I was gonna say that when I seen it because I didn't see that poster before. I don't know how I missed that. Bucket. Yay. I can just drop a bucket in the fan to block it. Also this best action. Oop. Pushing things over. <laughs> mm. I like how that's a thing in this. You can just push everything. Oop. I like um that other cat game that I play as well, the cat lateral damage. Mm -hmm. you can just knock over everything to destroy stuff. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how many like more cat games there will be made now because of how well Stray has been doing. Which would be really cool if more get made because I definitely like cat games so yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
can pretty much knock over anything with just walking into it too. Uh, oh yeah, this. Water. <laughs> uh, pretty much. Um, there's there's another cat game that's getting made right now, which I will let me have a look, quickly look and see. Another one that I've been following, where you play as a cat roaming around, so it's an adventure cat game. It is Little Kitty Big City. So that one I've been following for a bit as well. So I found out about that game from Wholesome Games on Twitter, so... Because I, um follow those accounts to um, like find new indie games and stuff like that. I usually end up finding a lot of cat games. Uh, just be one sec. Go. Um, but yeah, I can write the name of the game in chat too if, like, need help with, like, knowing exactly what it, um, is called. <laughs> Let me just write it just to make sure. Uh, little, I spelled that wrong. <laughs> little, kitty. City. Wait, really? Oh my god. That would... That's definitely a good, like, time then to release just everything cats. Got distracted like looking at that other cat game as well. Oh, okay, did you did you find like the twill for it? <laughs> we like I can just sit in the bucket and twirl around. We but oh. oh, yeah, that's that's definitely another cute cat game that I suggest. Following to like to see how that is. I'm not sure when it'll be released. It might be next year, maybe. I think they've been developing it for a few years now. No, poor robot. The graffiti in this is like really interesting, seeing what it looks like on the walls and stuff. 
I never seen that before. It's a Steam logo, right? It totally looks like Steam. <laughs> I don't know why, I guess I walked past it, maybe? Those little creature things are interesting that keep coming across. They look exactly like head crabs from Half Life. Yeah. Pretty sure that they totally got inspiration from them. Because they're probably like Half Life fans as well. Yeah. Yeah. jump on top of you. <laughs> uh. <Oof>. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it'd be cool to get like a plush toy of them, <laughs> like a head crab. trying to knock that over. <laughs> Like the atmosphere in this and environments look really beautiful. I don't know how big of a difference it looks like on PS5 and PC. This is like it running on PS4 Pro. And it still looks really nice. definitely say that this game is like yeah. <laughs> um like in one of my top lists of like short indie games that I like And as like how I've said before, like usually when you play indie games, they have like so many different things compared to like as they called like AAA games. It just feels like they can do a lot more than those like games and stuff. Cause you don't really see that many games where you play as a cat. <laughs> Even though I like AAA games as well. Oh, 
Hi, failing cookie. Yeah, I thought I would play um Stray on stream. Like I finished I did finish it the first time. But replaying it again just to play on stream. Which is nice. Yeah, I like how there's like yeah, totally different concepts instead of just sticking with one like concept of formula than like how triple A games usually do, like you know usually shooters and stuff like that like that. Cause like the other game that I was playing too was that um the power wash simulator. <laughs> where you just clean things. Which is um that was really fun. I still need to get back to actually playing that again. It doesn't really like have any story or anything, it's just kind of mini mini kind of story, I guess. Kinda of like get text messages throughout cleaning things. And then you just go on to like the next job and stuff. Which was pretty fun. Definitely excited to see what other games get made. Like, after seeing the success of Stray. I swear there'll be more cat games, which would be really cool. <laughs> and I wonder if they'll make, um, like their next game. If they'll make, like, something similar to it, or a sequel, or anything like that. Pretty much jump on a lot of things in this. Oop. Just takes a bit to find it. Another game that I really liked that was um wasn't like a cat game but like it was an indie game. That was like really nice. And like a small, relaxing, calming type of adventure game was um Rain. It was um only on PS3. That's it. Never got released on anything else. concept of that was you can't see your character until they step into the rain. So I really liked how that was like a very different compared to other games. I haven't seen anything do that before. <laughs> to sit. I don't know why they sit they sit backwards. Don't sit that way. <laughs> so yeah, that's like I definitely recommend trying to play that at some point if any of you ever can get a PS3 to play it or just emulate it.
because they they never even ported it to um, PS4 or or PS5. There's no way of playing it on those consoles. Oh, oof. Okay. Have a look. Fish. Um, we just quickly get a drink of water, so be one minute. sometimes like mute my mic when drinking more though so sound doesn't pick up let's <laughs> grab this battery <laughs> can't take the battery with you here for some reason don't know why so it just kind of disappeared. <laughs> I pretty much just push over everything in this game. <laughs> and interact with things like that. I like how I can do this. <laughs> it changes depending on where you stand, too. So, see? <laughs> so, so it's not like it's just the same lettering constantly. It will change. Yeah. Swish. <laughs> hmm. Oh, sorry. So this battery... And then... There's... Another battery somewhere. Hmm. Uh... 
Where is it now? Seem to be missing. Oh, there it is. Pretty much will meow everything. <laughs> I've seen people modded. <laughs> They've already modded the um, meow sound with the PC version. Which is so quick. I think I think there's been like a lot of mods for the PC version astray already. That's <laughs> funny. I wonder if anyone's gonna make make that. Would be pretty cool to make them. Skip that too quickly. Mm. B12 and this is like really cute. I like how they're called B12, and the company that made this game is Blue 12, so it's basically <laughs> just like named after the creators. Yeah, so they pretty much be able to analyze everything in the game for you. Which... Nice. You can just like knock over books and stuff. Didn't realize you could go up there. Oops. <laughs> nice. Uh, torch. I like how you can have a torch punch in this, which is nice. 
Oops. Damn. Definitely need it on. <laughs> Let's see. What oh, this? Um, even the music in this game is really nice and like relaxing as well. Okay, let's see. Swish. We like I can twirl around and stuff whilst you're in the bucket. Stuff is scary. There's like a lot of memories that you can unlock in this. With the first playthrough that I did, I didn't actually unlock all of them. So I guess I definitely missed out on them. This stuff looks so, like, gross and scary. <laughs> Is is there any games that um you have been playing lately? Game's that about? Um, stall marks. Oh god. <laughs> this part is quite funny. <laughs> Cause you're kinda just like walking around and stuff. Whilst everyone is getting scared of you. Okay, that sounds pretty fun. Like building um boats. Hmm. 
Yay, cat. <laughs> it's funny because it's just like a regular cat. Ugh. My brain. Regular cat. <laughs> but they're like scared of them. I like the um the designs of all the robots in this game. They look really cool. I like how it is um a game about cats and robots, because they're two things that I like a lot. It's nice because then you can just like get advice for them, from them, to help you with stuff. Mm. I like how their little faces have like them sleeping and stuff. Let's see, I think you can wake up if you meow. See? Ooh. <laughs> uh, it's funny. All the faces they do. That's <laughs> uh, why do they do anything different? That one angry. Because they're trying to sleep. <laughs> I wonder if anyone will try to like cosplay as the robots from this. That would be pretty cool. If you could build the full outfit of them. Oh, oh, let's try to do this. Well, oh crap, I missed. <laughs> wow. Uh. I think I ever wasn't able to ever buy this thing. It's pretty much a lot of like mini side missions that you can do in this. So like you can choose to do them or not. Pretty much did a lot of the a lot of them with the other playthrough that I did. Uh, let me just rest my character. I'm sorry, the cat. <laughs> just there for a sec. And I will be right back. Just have to go check something.
Hi, hi, I am back. Oof. Let's see, what, um... Where should I try to go to? It's cool because there's like a lot of areas that you can explore. Which is nice. And this whole like area is quite big too, so. And then this character. We have to find the uh find the music. So let's see. I found I found all the music for them with the first playthrough, so that was really cool. See if I can try to do that with this one. Bop. <laughs> oh yeah, you can change the music here too, which is cool. Okay, they sent ones will smile at you from yelling at them. Gosh, I just jumped through them. <laughs> could never get this because like you kind of like hit things sideways so it's really hard to kind of get this directly Oop. let's see yeah damn can't get that one hit no no don't go oh no don't fall down <laughs> ah. <laughs> i always keep doing that <laughs> It's very easy to accidentally knock the white white ball into the into the holes because he's just walking. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's any trophies for getting this. I think. Though I did just knock one of the balls down on the onto the ground. Because yeah. I think I've tried to knock them all like into there and it still still doesn't give a like a trophy. So I don't think there is one. So I thought there would be though. For doing that. Yeah. Oop. Also. Hopefully soon I should be able to like. Try doing like webcam. When I do some of my streams. Because of being like getting laser and stuff like that. So I like feel more comfortable with being able to do streams with just my face. I haven't really got like a good webcam though, so it's something I need to try and invest in. What 
is that? Oh god. Is that just like... Like just ram and oil? <laughs> oh gosh, it is. I wonder if they'll, um, if they'll make, like, plush toys from this game. That'd be, like, really cool. Like, I definitely have a feeling they'll make merch because of how well this game has sold. I like how I can do this with some of the robots. Oh wait, this way. stuck like that before when I first played it and I was like oh god I think I got stuck for like m more than like five minutes <laughs> of that glitch happening for some weird reason I like clipped behind their legs and then just kept staying running into them like that I like how they wear like different hats and stuff. It's cute. I like how you can do this. <laughs> uh, it's like cause mischief by just meowing at them. Quickly talk to oh no. Oh. Wait. Ah, here we go. There. Talk to them. <laughs> I don't know why, but they keep moving paint from side from the building to another building.
Thanks. <laughs> it's funny if you do this. <laughs> it makes them mad because the paint will spread with the tiny little balls. One of these have something. Ah, yeah, this one. Tiki. <laughs> something need for later. I don't know if my closed captions are off again. It sucks if they're like way too off. It seems like it changes from day to day when I'm using them, so, so I can't tell if they're like accurate right now. I think it's I think they're like more suited for like different accent, like American accents. Usually like YouTube's closed captions after you upload a video to theirs like really well. Oops. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Try going up there for now. Oops. <laughs> uh, which is just around here. This is a this ball that I can hit. Let's see? Yeah. Oops. Oh yeah, also these. <laughs> uh, I'm 
Pretty sure they shadow. I think. Do they? Oh no. Kind of actually bouncing off the floor. <laughs> uh, yeah, this robot. Uh, where's ah? Oh, this I like how there's um, there's like little resting points that you can do. Where you can just like sleep. There's actually a trophy, trophy and you know, achievement to get um, for like sleeping, but you have to like leave the game for a whole hour to just like let the cat sleep for that long. Mm. So definitely need to do that sometime. Like, I could even possibly do that on stream, like when I'm finished, just kind of leave the cat sleeping for a whole hour, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. But if I did that, I think everyone would think that, like, I'm just like, gone or something, <laughs> leaving the game for a whole hour. <laughs> But it's nice, because see, some of them play music and stuff. And it like zooms out, showing different scenes of the environment and area that you're at, so... I like how it does that, because it's nice. I'll see how far out it zooms before like going back because I didn't look at this one before. I did look at a few others to see how they are. To see how far back it actually zooms out to a scene. But like with this one's like a lot because it's outside. I'll see how much it goes. I don't know if it goes in reverse, or it just like just sits there. Pretty sure it kind of just like sits there for a while. Yeah, I think that's like as far as it kind of goes with with like that scene. So, hmm. Whew, let's see. Oops. Oh. Oh, we nice. Uh, let's see. ah, this one. Oh. Oop. Yes. Here we go. No, sad robot. Sad blurry robot. Why is that not focusing? There we go. <laughs> Sometimes that glitches to try to focus. Talk to them in one second. Uh... 
Oh yeah, there's also this, which is hilarious. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, it like inverts the controls on you, so you kind of like don't know what you're doing. <laughs> it's hard to control where you're walking. <laughs> oh. Which is hilarious. Okay, let's talk to Anna. Got distracted by that bull. Um. Oh yeah, this. There's like a lot of memories scattered around the whole game to find for B12. Oh yeah, wait, yeah, I forgot this. Is there something in here? Yes, that's it. There's like sheet music scattered around everywhere too that you can find. Also, things you can scratch. Interesting because you can actually um you can get some of the um the notebooks before even 
interacting with Momo. So like when I first played it, I actually went to this area like already and collected the notebook. So then like B12 says different dialogue. And like after interacting with Momo. So they pretty much they just kinda like say, oh we already like collected some of the notebooks already. So we should look for just that symbol somewhere else. So it's interesting that they set up like that. So then you can just kind of not strictly have to go to Momo first. Sheet music. Ish. Hiding. sheet music I pretty much like find all the sheet music everywhere What the third can is? I'm gonna try to buy the um different thing this time because I didn't buy that. It's also this, which is cute. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Can like keep changing the channel. <laughs> That's also a trophy. Like channel changer. <laughs> if you like cycle for like all the channels and stuff. It's fine because all the robots have like game shows and stuff. <laughs> they have like all their own things. Um. <laughs> it's fine because I swear, um, yeah, they're like the only robot that has like like a face like that. Pretty sure they're one of the devs. <laughs> also, don't react if you mount and. Another area here that has like the like sad face. Twish. Oh wait. Yeah. Kind of like sad face. Sad chucky face. <laughs> Twish. Uh -huh. There's like so many books in this, because obviously it's a library. 
but because that you can just knock everything over. <laughs> um. <laughs> There's um this area too. Another sleeping area. Which is cute. You can pretty much just nap like every new area that you find you can just nap in somewhere. There's a little spot somewhere to find. Which is cute. Like, this area doesn't zoom out that much, because cause you are inside, so... I can like just jump on the books in this. I like doing that a lot. <laughs> Especially the physics of them because you can just roll around in them. <laughs> Like I can just scratch up everything. <laughs> uh, let's see. Went there, got that notebook. Went here, that notebook. 
Again, if there's another one. I think, I think it might be just them two, I'm pretty sure. I don't think he's meant to be doing that. Why is he crashed up like that? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna take a picture of that. <laughs> uh, that's totally glitched. Um, that was not good one. Oh. It's where I'm missing one. Or is it just that? Yeah, there's one more somewhere. Why? Why? That's so weird. <laughs> Meant to be crouched on the ground. <laughs> Looking at that. Alright, so. There, that's the last one. I remember it now. Okay, so we have to jump down here. Whoops. Whoops. Yes, that's it. Battery. Then jump down here. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I forgot it was just in the box. <laughs> uh, that was somewhere hidden. Somewhere else. Forgot that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's like one of the most fun things in this, just like knocking everything over. Pretty much the books in this is like a big thing. Just jumping on them and then jumping off and then just falling around everywhere. Ooh, physics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, oh, let's see, where? Oh yeah, this. Time to drink either water. There's also this. Get another memory. Oops. Yeah. 
Let me just quickly you know that I'm still streaming. Oof. Okay. Nice. I like how when you do let them idle, they will just like just lay there look at things and do stuff and sometimes sit and stuff which is cute I wish there was like a button just to make them sit and stuff and lay down that would be cool I like how the robots do that, like they get like little hearts in their faces to on the screen when you go near them. Um Oh yeah, whoops, final notebook, so that should be Up here. Let's see if Momo if he's changed or he's still glitched. I have a feeling it's still glitched. Yeah, he's still glitched. What happened? Why is he sitting up like that? God, now he's just floating. <laughs> uh, I'll take a picture of that too. That's funny. Is he gonna be stuck? He might reset now. Yeah, that'll definitely reset. God, I thought he was just gonna keep floating around. <laughs> The whole map was just loading in just then. Drink of water.
Okay, thanks. Let's go. We. These things are so scary. Um, like how to like scare us and how to avoid them. Like, thanks. Go because when you meow kind of like attract them to go to like a different area so as a distraction you definitely have to avoid them as much as you can Definitely sounds like them getting rid of like rainbows. Sounds like getting rid of, you know. <laughs> getting rid of gay rainbows, how did they? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, have you played? Have you played this? Um, Cookie? Okay, yeah. Yeah, it definitely like changes a lot. To be honest, like the genre and everything. I don't know like how far you've seen into the game or not. There's definitely um without like even spoiling it, just there's definitely a horror aspect to it. I, d I did not expect. Like, this is... yeah. Because, <laughs> like... I, I don't think they showed anything with, like, the trailers and stuff. All the Zerg stuff. Oh my god, like, this is... yeah, this is horror. It's scary. <laughs> I wonder if I can knock these all down. <laughs> I can. Swish. Oh, yeah, I like how you can do that. That's really cute at the start of the game. Yeah, it definitely made it, it makes it seem like it's just gonna be that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Definitely becomes sad. Let's see. Switch. Aha. Uh -huh. That's scary. <laughs> yeah. Oh. The head crabs in this, they're like, yeah. 
pretty much they look like exactly like head crabs. Just like tiny differences. They are very very much similar. Oh god. <laughs> Ooh, rainbow. Yeah, the like the developers of this definitely have um definitely fans of like Half Life then. Wow. Let's take a picture. Like mm. Yeah, wow, just like a lot of the environments in this I really like. Obviously when it has all this it's all gross. But um environments still look nice. <laughs> I like all the the way like the cities are made and stuff. Go check something, sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh, gosh, this bit scary. But yeah, I I definitely like this game a lot. It's nice. Tish. <laughs> Stealth. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, I love how you can meow on this. <laughs> okay, gotta let them out in a sec. Quick, I can do this. Yeah. Some reason, some of them stop bursting. I don't know why. Oh. 
Nice. Did better than last time. Okay. Oh. This part is quiet and tense. running around in circles till that elevator gets down. <laughs> Such like a bad way of making something like that. That way you just trap yourself in. <laughs> yeah, you can like spin around in the bucket, which is cute. Which I'll, I'll do that once I go to like another one. Thank <laughs> you. 
No way I could remember a password that long. Like I can just keep doing that. You can also just stay in the bucket too, without jumping out. Kind of just hang there. So I wish there was a photo mode because I would totally take a lot more photos of having like the cat somewhere and stuff. When I mean, you could, no, damn. Oh my God, see for a bucket. <laughs> uh, a photo like that. Oof, let's see. Oop. Wait. Ah, this way. Here we go. This way is to get to the bar. Yay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like how some of the robots were paying. I like how their like screen is like a rainbow. <laughs> Momo.
Saved that saved. Okay, that did save. Um let's see. I might finish my stream for today. But I will definitely try to stream the rest of the game tomorrow. Cause I wanna be able to try like stream Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, like my days. So um I will say when I go live on my Twitter and Discord server. So, um, hopefully everyone has a good day slash night. And, um, thanks for everyone that tuned in and chatted and stuff. Yeah, I definitely like this game a lot, so. It's nice to be able to stream it, so. Yeah. Mm. Bye everyone, thanks again. <laughs>